Hi guys, welcome to Co-Parenting with a Narcissist 101. I'm Kate. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you know when I upload some videos. Okay, so guys, today we're going to talk about co-parenting with a narcissist and uh, kids as messengers. This is when the narcissist uses your kids to try to pass along a message to you. And there are three things they want to achieve here. One is they want to make you look bad. Two, uh, they want to annoy you. Uh, three, they want to pretend they're making effort, you know, to show the kids they're making an effort. Now, one, how do they make you look bad? Say they want to um, they tell the kids, uh, you know, kids being kids, you can pick up one place that you know kids, all kids like to go. Let me say Disneyland or something. And they say, oh, they haven't told you, by the way, they haven't passed a message along to you. So they tell the, uh, the kids, yeah. Oh, I'm going to take you to Disneyland on this time and this time we're going to go and going to spend a week or whatever. And then we'll come back and we're, and all that. And, you, you know, you you tell your mom or tell your dad that uh, we, 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 we're going to Disneyland. Now, this is the first time you're hearing this uh, trip or this information at all. So, of course, you're going to look at the kids and say, well, what are you talking about? You know. But that's it. Can we, can we go to the, can, can we go? You know, my friend, this and this one, they know kids, they're going to be kids. And like I said, if you bring up somewhere that kids, all kids like to go, even adults, <laughs> then yeah, they're going to hop around. And of course, you trying to maintain the boundary that you set, you're going to say, uh, no, I haven't heard anything about that. So uh, let's your dad let me know, then I will know at the same time but don't don't even don't even tell the kids to tell your dad because then then you're doing the same thing they're doing you just say you haven't heard of it so which of course it means that you're not of course you're not going to disneyland unless i'm taking you so i don't know anything about what you're talking about of course you know some of the kids will probably feel sad that you know they don't uh want to go you might you know next time they, they the narcissists will call they probably relate the message like oh mommy said we can't go daddy said we can't go you know this is them trying to attempt to make you look bad in front of the kids but don't buy it two they try to annoy you they know obviously just like you know they send that message in the first uh point they know it's going to annoy you to you to you to, for them to drag the kids into adult uh, conversations but they will do it anyway they will shamelessly bring the kids in for the sole purpose of pissing you off that's all that is that is all they're doing they bring the kids and it could be different things it does this this one is uh the, the previous point was you know to where the to make you look bad because so they bring up something that the kids really want to go to now the for this one where the shameless drug drag the kids so annoy you it could be anything oh tell your mom that uh you guys need to bring this when you're coming next or tell your dad you guys need to take this when you're going over there or you know stuff like that they could have easily sent a message to you directly but they send it to the kids because the point here is annoying you. Number three is making pretending to make effort where the kids are concerned. Now you see, back in point one, that whole Disney trip, they probably don't mean to take the kids to the Disney trip, you know. So this is them saying this just so you know the future faking thing we talked about in the last video. I think it's where they are telling the kids, you know, we're gonna do this and do this and do that. So it, it appeared to the kids that oh, you are, you know, you. are you know, especially the older ones, you, you're trying to make an effort to be in our lives or, you know, you, you're going to be the cool uh, parent or whatever it is that, you know, you're trying to be a part of them. But all that is a show because, you know, with this, I'm sure some of you have witnessed this, this never goes comes to, comes to pass. This plan, this big plan that they always have about the kids, 9 out of 10, they're going to uh, default on it. And then, you know, you, you leave the pieces for you. You know they disappoint the kids that's usually is the case you know so narcissists will try to use the kids as messengers to you and those three things either make you look bad uh drag the kid in the middle of it to annoy you or to pretend to show the kid that they're making an effort all of that obviously none of them are true none of them are genuine just like the narcissist everything is fake so would this happen sure it would happen what are you going to do in this case you make sure you maintain your boundaries you make sure you enforce the boundaries that you already set 
because this is them trying to do if you entertain this relaying messages to you through the kids now this is them dragging the children depending on how old they are they even regardless you know if they can talk or repeat things uh they will use them it doesn't matter because you remember they don't really care about the child because normal parents will not want to drag a child into adult conversations but this is not what we're dealing with here you know so they will use that if they feel that's what they need to do to annoy you today then that's what they're going to do they're going to send some stupid small message that doesn't make any sense that they could easily say to you if they want to uh if they if that really is a message about the kids but no they pass it along and have the kid repeat it so that they, you, you'll be forced to say something back to the kids so they can go take it back no don't even get in the, don't pick up that ball <laughs> do not pick up that ball to play, play that game no mm, 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 don't do that you know so the kids bring it to you it's like well i don't know about it i'll wait till your dad tell me about it and you leave it at that do not volunteer any information do not give any feedback information to go have the kid repeat it to the, the the narcissist and then it comes back to you again and then there you go the kid is now your messenger no that's exactly what they want to achieve and drag you in there and then you're not going to encourage that you know so uh the whole um pretending to make an effort like i said towards the kids you, you realize that at the end of the day you will now be the one trying to tell the kids oh well you know maybe he or she uh got something else i, I apologize maybe we'll, 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 we'll make our own plans and do it together whatever this of course they, they by the time they say this future faking thing that they do which they start doing with the kids they get the kids hopes all high and then of course they don't show because the whole agenda of them even saying it to the kid was to pretend to show that they're making effort which is not it's all an act the kids don't know it you probably know it know that they're not going to come through when they, they don't you know and that doesn't stop them anyway from next time doing it though <laughs> they will still try it again you know of course until as the kids get older they know they can't rely on them they can't count on them you know sometimes my kid uh, is 11 and he will say so many things and he's like well he, he will be okay on the phone like oh okay cool we're gonna do that all right thanks dad and they hung up the phone and then he'll tell his sister well that's not gonna happen <laughs> i've heard this so many times among themselves well you know that's not gonna happen and then they go back to whatever it was they were doing so they do this so many times the kids catch on that they don't even they, they give them what they want to hear oh, okay all right and they get off the phone that was it that's the, the, the they already know that it's not going to happen so they don't even look forward to it you know so will they try yes they will try to use the case as messengers but you make sure you put an end to it and do not join them in the game of that ping pong ball going back and forth using your kids no you are the only parent here all right guys get your mind together and everything else will fall into place Please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next